Okay, this is Big Baby J with another episode of Final Fantasy 3. Uh, last episode, I told you I was going to uh, level up all my jobs, which I did. Uh, I'm currently got Black Mages right now. But as you see, every job I have up to this point is level 99. Uh, as you see, I'm still, my experience level is still 9, is still nine. Uh, and it took me, how long, let's see here, where is that time frame at? Okay, I guess, alright, okay, there's my time right there. I got 18 hours and... 29 minutes and actually this is about I'd say about 45 minutes into the game but yeah so let's change out these jobs real quick all right uh, let's put you as a warrior and as you notice my adjustment phase is zero when you level 99 jobs you don't have any penalties uh, Ark, let's change you to White Mage. Uh, Raffia, we're going to change you to Red Mage. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, uh, I gotta equip myself. Alright, let's give you a long sword. Long sword. Uh, yeah, we need that. All right. You are what exactly? So I put this on. I forget what I gave you. Oh, never mind. I know what you are now. White mage. Yeah. So you don't have any weapons at the moment. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, we give you long sword. Long sword. Uh, all right, and black mage, you have no. Well, I, you good? I don't have any weapons. Yes, I do. Hold on, you got a bow. Yeah, I can give you a bow. All right, I'm gonna uh, give you a demonstration uh, how these levels affect your character. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, formation. Let's get these guys in the front row. Well, Luna, if you can stand in the back. You got bow and arrow. All right. All right. We're going to let uh, Ignis take care of this B. Uh, let's let the fight mage do a little healing. No, well, I ain't got nothing equipped to him. All right. Let's have you guard. Uh, you can take care of the other B, and you can guard. So you have 421. 397. Alright. Let's get our white mage and black mage to do something now. Uh, let me give, uh, what kind of magic do you have? Nothing. Nothing. Raffia, you got cure. Let's uh, remove that from you. And get that to my white mage. And I can also give my black mage. Wait, come on now. Give my black mage blizzard. Right now, I let them do a little demonstration for y'all. Come on, throw me in a battle. Hello, you got to be kidding me. Finally, all right, let's have you guard. Uh, let you use cure. Have you guard? And I'm only gonna cast Blizzard one time. One 
145. Usually you get a, when you cure with a white mage at this stage of the game, if your job level is not up, you can probably get around about uh, 20 or uh, 30 HP. While my job level is maxed out, yeah, that happens. So now uh, I can have you guard and guard and blizzard. Blizzard hit the other wolf of 300 and something. I forget the exact numbers, but speed it up. Yeah, 368. Okay. So that's the improvement that we have at this time. Now, since I showed you those two jobs, let me go ahead and switch to my other jobs that I'm going to be using for majority of the game. But first, formation. Let's put her up front. Get him right there. Okay, now let's do jobs. You gonna be my thief. I love thieves. And everybody else will be monk. You monk. I love the fact when you level up all the way that you don't get any penalties for uh, changing jobs. But as you see, it's worth it. Now, equipment. Uh, if you notice, look at my monk. Attack power of 220. Yeah. Yeah, that works very well. I'm gonna give you some better armor. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you a demonstration on how the monks operate. All right, Steve, I need you still for me to uh, rock you. All right, I don't care which one y'all attack. It doesn't matter. Cause my monks are dead. They are the hardest hitters in the game at this point. 3,000. Yeah. So, for the most part, this is my this is my setup right here. This is who you'll see me playing as. Right here. Alright. Now with that said. Let me see. Uh... Let's just do a few more demonstrations real quick. Yeah, let's do a few more demonstrations. Besides, I need to find some different mobs. What you have there? Nah, let's definitely be. Six thousand. Four thousand. Yeah. Monks are overpowered at this point in the game. Especially look. You gotta look. Level 9. And I'm doing that much damage at level 9. So it's important that you level your jobs up. And let me talk about this just for a second. If you look at the uh, the thief. The thief, in my opinion, is probably was the easiest one to level up. Uh, thief and uh, the monk were the easiest ones to level up. It didn't take that long. Uh, but the uh, the warrior and the red mage they took a little longer than the thief and the uh, monk but the white mage and black mage they took the longest uh, I guess it's because the mages or something but it took me quite a while to get both of these jobs leveled up and as you see it took it from 45 minutes in the game, I'm at 18 hours or something, so... Oh, and I forgot to tell you. If you already noticed, I got 18,000 gil. Yeah. At uh, 10 uh, gil per battle, pretty much. Maybe 20 if I had more than one goblin. And goblins are your friends in this uh, job leveling because... You gotta look at it. You only get one experience point 
and that's it. So that's why my characters did not level up. And my monks are taking out these things before I can even steal from them, which is a pain. Thief, you need to get ahead of these folks now. Like it's gonna have oh nine thousand. Oh, you got an antidote. I stand. Nine thousand. Yeah, that's me now. That's me. Nine thousand. I failed to steal. At level 99, I failed to steal. Oh, that's just crazy. That don't, that is, that's not right. See, these goblins right here. These guys you want to uh, train with. These guys you want to train for. Because like I said, you only get one experience point each time. And if you look at your status, it takes 500 and something for the next level. And I was only getting one point per turn. So, yeah. And I, actually, I'm kind of tired of seeing them at this point. Man, what's up with my feet? Give me some real battles. Oh, I forgot this is the beginning of the game, so there are no real battles. As long as I attack first, I can't lose. Yep, as long as I attack first, I can't lose. guy with the shield. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, in case you're wondering why Luna is uh, hitting harder than anyone else, well, actually he took out most of my uh, goblins when I was fighting. So I'm taking it that he got some kind of hidden experience behind him, so yeah, he did most of my killing, so I'm thinking that is the reason why he's at the point he's at now, because he hits harder than anyone else at this point. Let me go back to the desert. Oh, there they are, finally. These guys right here get hard. If they hit first, but well, they won't be hitting first. And as you see at low levels, the highest amount of punches I'm getting, attacks I'm getting is 17. As my levels grow up, uh, I can get up to 32 hits. So, I can't wait to level up. As you see, I'm only getting six experience points. So I won't be doing no level up no time soon. Uh, 
All right, let's go ahead and head over to the castle. Cause now, uh, oh, now y'all want to give them to me on the regular. Um, it's time to progress the storyline a little further. So let's go do that. Actually, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end this episode, and we'll just pick up at the castle. So let's go do that. This is gonna be a short episode. So. I just, I just had to show off the fact that uh, I made level 99 as far as jobs concerned. So let's end it here and uh, we'll pick up the next episode uh, later on sometime. Appreciate you for watching. Catch you next time.